Hi folks, we're actually in your Landenburg, Pennsylvania today. This is the London Track Meeting House here. And we're in an old cemetery. And there's an old lure, an old legend here in the cemetery. You turn the camera around and it's right here. This is known as the Ticking Tomb. The story goes is that when Charles Mason and Jeremiah Dixon were down here in the mid-1760s surveying the area for the well-known Mason-Dixon line. The, uh, they had a campman nearby here and a little boy named Fithian Minuet. I'm surprised I actually got that right. Uh, he had walk, uh, sort of walked in, he was a toddler to their tent, into their tent, and uh, was crying and upset. So uh, Charles Mason gave him his pocket watch and the boy promptly put it in his mouth and ate it, swallowed it. Uh, Charles Mason was upset since that was his, that was his pocket watch. So he said, well, that's going to tick in your stomach forever now. And indeed, apparently it did from the, what the legend said. Now, this legend goes back 250 years. So I'd imagine there's something to it. Now, I I'd also would put, uh, put out the fact that, or mention the fact that probably a pocket watch from that time period, from say the mid-1750s or so, was probably quite large maybe an inch, inch and a half wide. So for a toddler to swallow that, I don't know. But anyway, that was the, what the legend says. The legend says he swallowed the pocket wash and he stayed with him all his life. And he had a strange ticking coming from his stomach. Well, he did, uh, of course, eventually die and was buried here along with his wife. And this little nondescript grave right here is where he's supposed to have been buried. Now it's a grave right next to the heart-shaped marker, this tombstone here, which is right here. So we do believe we have the right grave. Now the legend says that the ticking continued from the grave for many, many years afterward. Now people have come down here and, and you've actually seen on videos, people coming down here and, and pictures and all putting the ear up against this uh, little marker here to see if they hear, hear anything. Apparently there's no ticking sound coming from it now, but uh, a lot of experts say, well, there might've been a spring, like an underneath, like underground spring here at one time, which could account for a ticking sound. But well, we're going to put our ear against it. We'll see what we can hear here. Now, wait a minute. Do you hear that? Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> Forgot about my watch. Let's put that aside. Nope, I don't hear anything now. Furthermore, the tale of the ticking tomb actually is supposed to have spawned another legend. Edgar Allan Poe stayed here, and that's true, he definitely did stay here, it's documented, nearby, some years later, I guess around 100 years later or so, and was told of this legend, and he actually came over here and put his ear to the tomb also. Now, this is some years before he wrote the Telltale Heart. So many people believe that this legend here was the inspiration for the story of the Telltale Heart. Seems like it's a reasonable uh, conclusion. Take a look at some of the tombstones here. Some of them are very early, some not so much. I see one here from 1837. Some not very hard to read. Died 1875, isn't that? So we're going into the early 1800s, and maybe some here from the late 1700s. Some of these back here are look quite a bit older. And you can see there's a lot of disrepair here. Some of them have really uh, collapsed here. You can see these here. And the writing on, on these tombstones here that lay horizontal is just all worn off. There's, there's very little that you can read.
I see one back there from 1787 to 1829, perhaps. So that's an early one. All right, folks, that'll do it from this video from the London Track Meeting House. Take care, be safe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.